Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session we are going to discuss about aspect and impact as per ISO 14001 Environment Management System. Before we start let me tell you about the key learning of this session. At the end of this session you will be able to understand what is aspect and impact in relation to ISO 14001 methods for identifying the aspect and impact examples of aspect and their impacts approach to aspect and impact analysis so let's start our discussion by understanding what is aspect and impact as per iso 14001 in simple terms an environmental aspect is anything resulting from the organization's activities product or services that has the potential to cause an environmental impact even if it is presently controlled or prevent such impact the fact that the potential exists if something goes wrong for intense makes it an environmental aspect an environmental aspect can be either negative or positive negative aspect include ambition to the air or water discharge of oil to the land or water generation of hazard waste generation of solid waste community impact and the generation of dust and noise positive aspects include recycling of used materials such as steel aluminum copper glass bottle and paper removal of pollutants from the air or water and restoring land by removing discontaminated soil in cause and effect if and considered an environmental aspect to be the cause then the environmental impact is the effect an environmental impact is any change to the environment whether adverse or beneficially wholly or partially resulting from the organization's activities product or services essentially the environmental impact is the result of the environment aspect for example suppose a company is discharging water waste to a nearby stream a potential environmental impact of that activity is pollution to the water Using a life cycle approach the principal type of impact are those associated with input example extract resource used in the form of raw material and energy that can give rise to land degradation and depletion of nature resource output example ambition to air discharge to water and waste arising that may cause pollution on site activity and process example storage cleaning assembly and packaging that can also cause pollution or loss of material and other resources now let us discuss the method for identifying aspect and impact here i am going to discuss the five common methods to help you identifying aspect and impact first one is group methodology this method is just as the name suggests you focus on one category at a time to identify aspects start with activities then remove the product and finally service and then any activities for intents might be your fueling operation and it may include several aspects such as air emissions chemical uses and spills each of these in turn has one or more impact from degradation of air quality to depletion of natural resource second one is serving methodology this approach revolves around geographic areas typically you all start at one end of your facility or site property and finish at the other end it's a detailed walk through with a well defined purpose try making a draw of your facility on working from an existing floor plan and documenting the location of all aspects then log everything in detail in a simple spreadsheet along with corresponding impacts third one is mass balancing methodology if you are an organization with an engineering mindset the mass balancing or inputs and outputs methodology is probably a natural choice it start with all the inputs into your facility and finishes with the outputs a short list of import might include people equipment chemical water and electricity the corresponding outputs might be solid waste fumes wide gates 
वेस्ट वॉटर हीट एंड रेडिटेशन बोथ लिस्ट नाइसली कैप्चर योर एस्प्रिंग फोर्थ वन इज बैट कैलकुलेटिंग मेथडोलॉजी इज योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मोर साइंस माइंडेड ट्राई वर्किंग बैकवर्ड यू नो दैट पोटेंशियल आंसर एंड यू विल टेक योर बैक टू योर एस्प्रिक्ट मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ पोटेंशियल इम्पैक्ट बोथ नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव योर फैसिलिटी माइट हैव दी वर्क बैक टू एस्प्रिक्ट Sample impact might be degradation of water quality of improvement of human health include both common and rare emergency impact fifth potpourri methodology the potpourri method generally combine two of the other methodology one common strategy is to combine grouping and surveying you start at one end of the facility focus on one area at a time and list out all activities product and services then move to the next area and repeat you are finish when you reach the other end of the site or facility each of these methods has pawns and cons but with a little experimenting you will find the best match of your organization pick the method that sounds most applying gather a small group and start brainstorming then log your result you will be well on your way to capturing your environmental aspect and impact now let us discuss few examples of aspect and their related impact process 1 generation of electricity by coal fired power station aspect of this process extraction of coal impact of this aspect loss of finity natural resources process 2 generation of electricity by wind turbines aspect of this process noise when turbines are moving impact of the aspect noise nozulation process 3 pant spiring use oil based pant and solvents aspect of this process emission to air of solvent during use impact of this aspect creation of photochemical ozone and other pollutant that affect human health and the environment now come to the process 4 that is transportation of goods using motor vehicle aspect of this process emission of particulate matter impact of this aspect impact on human health especially people point to respiratory illuminates and finally now let us discuss the approach to aspect and impact analysis a suggested approach to determine aspect and impact according to their significance including includes the following five step first identifying activities process and product the first step to analyze what an organization does by describing its activities each activities has an outcome which may be a product or service while activities also typically consist of compound processes this can be mapped using a table or flow chart process mapping when creating flow charts consider normal conditions abnormal event historical condition and plant changes second determining environmental aspect emas and several standard in the iso 14000 series example iso 14031 from environmental performance evolution and the iso 14040 series of standard for life cycle analysis use an approach based on the mass balance model or output process output model the model states that for every process the input must be equal to the sum of the output plus any losses through process efficiencies and by product using this approach enable an organization to quantify several measures such as amount of raw material used per unit activity or product consumption of energy per unit activity or product amount of waste product for each process relates to atmosphere or water amount of fuel used to transport our unit product over a specific distance third aspect to impact as an impact is the result of an interaction between an aspect and the environment the next step is to determine the nature of the interaction an effective way of doing this for direction environmental aspects 
and in particular relies to the environment is the use of model frequently employed for the assessment and management of contaminated handle and management of contaminantly for every relies for a process there will be a source of pathway that it follows and a point where the relies interact with recipitry in the environment having determined the pathway and the actual or potential recipitry for relies the next stage is to determine how such relies impact on the environment fourth defining significance a common sense approach is to establish whether a particular aspect has the potential to have a negative or positive impact on the environment activities that are subject to environmental regulation will signal that environment aspect and impact are significant and need to be properly managed the criteria for significance will need to consider the type size and frequency of a particular aspect the potential scale servicity and duration of the associate impact fifth prioritizing aspect the higher the rating the more significant the aspect one of the basis the table above indicates that relies of carbon dioxide for energy sources is the most significant while the storage and handling of chemicals and fuel would be the next most significant both of these aspects would therefore have a top priority for action having graded the aspect and impact according to their significance it is useful to tabulate them showing the laws and other requirements which apply to them this documents clear linkage between aspect impact and legal other requirements the assessment of significances does not necessarily require a numeric approach however number can be a useful way of imparting relative significance particularly if the number vary greatly we have now come to the conclusion of this session in case you have any question on today's topic then please feel free to ask them on the comment section of the video till we meet next best wishes from tnv academy